Ashley needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Ash. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Lieutenant Commander Williams was critically wounded. We're taking her to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Lieutenant Commander Williams? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm going to check on Ashley and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. 
Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. I saw it done. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. I'd be worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... it would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. 
The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider Adi. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later, if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. 
There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. <laughs>